name is Robert Chambers and I'm the creator of the NEQ Music System. You are watching What's Going On and today we have a very interesting guest. We have Robert Chambers. Now Robert, you own a very interesting business. Why don't you... Uh, we have a guest. I'm going to be talking to a guest. A great musician, in fact. Here is his CD. His name is Robert Chambers interpretations and he's going to be playing a couple of selections for us on the piano fine musician and by the way i understand a pretty good basketball player back in his day as well since we were talking about basketball so i left you'll see when i was about seven years old and at that time i was playing piano playing piano by ear and also the other pictures that you see there are cds that i've released from my interpretation series and pretty Dr. robert robert teaches us how to play the piano by ear he has three cds out the newest one interpretations of love we have interpretations of christmas and interpretations that was the first one that was the I first assume. one yeah now how old is this one that one is about I would, uh, about five years, since so 2007. This one was your baby. That's right? the you baby know. right there, and yeah. Now we have Interpretations of Love, the new one. Now, Robert, um, I'm going to test you a okay. little bit. Um, why don't you just play something for us to start? Anything you want. Anything. Anything I you want. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that. All right. Okay. Now, on to our CD. Okay, I was can, you, can you play <laughs> So Amazing by Linda Vandross? Sure. A show tune, okay, let's say like from a musical you'll say? Yes, Broadway. Okay, how about this one? I had this neighbor that had a lot of cats. Oh. Oh, let's turn it on. Here we go. Yes. Is it? Okay, it, wow, it look at that. I was, you know, a little three-year-old running around. Wow. Um, so one more test, I'll throw you for a loop. How about playing something kind of jazz? Jazz. Jazz style. Okay, jazz style, okay. <laughs> Uh, piano player. Now All right, but basically, I'm one of seven children, and how I got started was my sister was taking lessons, but she couldn't get a specific song that was being taught. She didn't know it at the time, but I was listening around the corner and saying in my head, that's so easy. But the problem was, I was only three years old. I mean, would you listen to your three-year-old little brother? So when she got up, I went and I played it. When my mom saw that, she called the piano teacher, but the piano teacher asked how old I was. And then when she found out that I was three years old, she said, no, he's too young to start reading music, and he should wait until he at least starts school. Now, at that time, though I was sad, it didn't discourage me from playing. It just fueled my competitive nature. I made a commitment that I would not only figure out how to play on my own, but I would also develop a method that would enable everyone to do the same. Guess what? I went on to play everything I heard at school at that time. And my first public performance was at my church talent night. After that performance, 
Many of the parents that were there, I was actually four at the time, and many of the parents sent their children to traditional lessons to learn how to play like me. Now, let's fast forward a few years later after those parents sent their children to traditional lessons to play how I was playing. Because my mother told them, well, he actually plays by ear. He's not taking any lessons. Nevertheless, they figured that, well, those lessons still should be able to teach their children how to do the same. Now, once again, fast forward a few years later, 99% of those students either lost interest, couldn't play by ear, or had no lasting results. And at age seven, I became the pianist at my church. I understood the language of music, and I couldn't understand why everyone couldn't play by ear. Now, remember when I said, I was determined to find a method to teach not only myself, but to teach others how to do this, uh, the same thing, right? So here was my first method. I would say, it's so simple. Don't you get it? You know, I'd like shake people. Come on, don't you see it? Guess what? That method didn't work. It didn't solve the root cause of their inability to play piano by ear. So I would continue. Come on, it's so simple. Don't you get it? Don't you un? I was like, don't you un? I was like, that's it. That's it. Wait a minute. That's it. I shouted. You don't understand it. You don't understand the musical language. From that day on, I was on a mission to figure out a method to teach the world how to understand music and play piano by ear. Great news. I figured out a method. I asked for it and God gave me wisdom concerning the musical language. I was so excited. Is it possible to play any song on the piano without the need for sheet music? Well, each year, millions of people take traditional piano lessons with hopes of being able to play the songs they hear on the radio by ear. Fast forward about 10 years, and over $10,000 later, they are still unable to do so. Is there an alternative? Robert Chambers was three when he wanted to take lessons, but was turned down by a traditional music teacher. Though he was very sad, that did not discourage him. It only fueled his competitive nature. Robert decided that he would not only figure out how to play any song on piano on his own, but he would develop a method that would enable everyone else to do the same. Uh, Today, teaching people as well how to play by ear. Exactly. Because that's what you do. You taught yourself and you play by ear and, and there's certain ways that you know how to just teach people and they can get it fairly quickly. Right. Exactly. Um, can you show us maybe how your method of teaching is different from other methods of teaching that are out there? What do you do? Sure. All right. I mean, obviously the next segment we'll go into the actual methods, but sure. one difference is that my system's called the Andy Key Music System for a reason. Okay. That's because you have to be taught how to play in every key. What do I mean by that? So for example, if you're classically taught, you might have heard this. You might have heard this. And what is that called? Uh, Fairy Leaves, you've heard it before, right? Yes. Now, usually that song is written in one key, which is A minor. But majority of the times, people cannot, that take lessons, cannot I'm playing the same song, but in different keys. Or different styles. Right? So I can improvise and do a lot of those things because I understand the music. I always believed I was going to share this wisdom and teach the world how to play music by ear, but I always thought I had tomorrow to do it. On August 22nd, 1998, I was on my way home and got involved in a four car crash only 15 minutes from my home. Thank God I was miraculously saved. Here are some pictures of the actual accident. I know I was in that car and you know this it's a long story how I was miraculously saved you know from someone that got off work two hours early for the first time in their life to come back and help me get out of this car before more cars actually crashed into me and so forth so that's a wonderful story that you if you'd like to know more about that you can actually read it on my blog but basically, it wasn't until this near-death experience that I decided to focus on completing and documenting my musical discovery. 
So I got great news. They said it couldn't be done. They said you have to be born with it. All that they said was true until now. Introducing the revolutionary AnyKey music system. The only music course specializing in teaching you how to master the art of playing piano by ear in one year. That's Today, right. That method is known as the Any Key Music System, a proven course enabling people to master the art of playing piano by ear in one year. That's right, in one year. Now, let's talk about learning piano by ear.